Hello everybody, this is Shane Arman Road. Today, Transformers Devastation, the abandoned wear game, no longer on Steam. We're gonna show you how to install it. Now, I can't be too obvious in telling you where to get this. I will tell you that if you search your favorite search engine for devastation underscore 202306, you're likely to find exactly what you're looking for. Now, I'm gonna have to pixelate all of this out because YouTube doesn't like me showing you abandoned wear locations, but I can assure you that it's probably at the top of the list from that good old archive site. That's right. So go in here and find the ISO image and download said ISO image to your downloads folder. And we're gonna pick up from there. And there it is, transformersdevastation.iso 5.3 gigabytes. Excellent, and it's in your downloads folder. All right, so we have a couple of options here. We could right click this and hit extract, right? Extract and delete the archive. We could do that. Or I'm gonna teach you a little trick that can be used in many other gaming situations much like this. We're going to go to the Discover Store, type in mount, unmount, space in between, and you're going to see something called mount, unmount, ISO. Now, this is the one you want with this gold looking medallion thing. Uh, you don't want any other ones. It's very easy to get the wrong one here. I'm not sure why, but it is. So uh, go ahead and install it. However, you know, there's an install button, whatever, install it. Perfect. Now we can right click that ISO and look at there, mount, unmount ISO image. Now that's handy. Hit mount and T devastation appears under devices. Perfect. And look at that. Now, this particular um, release group, their installer tends not to work well on the Steam Deck because it uses too much memory and ends up crashing. This one doesn't, however, so we're going to go ahead and use the built-in installer this time for this particular title. All right, so right-click setup.exe and hit Add to Steam. Give it a moment or two to process, and then open up Steam. Go to your library and search for setup.exe. Helps if you can type. There we go, there's setup.exe. Go over to the gear. This is a Windows game after all, and we're running it on a Linux system, so we have to add a compatibility layer. So let's go to compatibility, force, and we're going to use Proton Experimental. It's where I always start, and it works like 99% of the time. If we hit play, what do you expect is gonna happen? It's gonna run the setup.exe under a Windows Proton prefix running under Proton Experimental. Okay, here we go. So this looks just like it would on Windows. We're gonna go ahead and hit the button to go next. And I'm gonna drag it off from the other screen. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and follow the defaults. Now, this says it's going to see games, blah, blah, blah. This is in the Proton prefix. This is on your SSD. You've got this little tiny SSD and this really big giant SD card. You don't really wanna install it here. I use something called centralized storage. I have a whole nother video on it. For today, we're gonna go ahead and install it in the Proton prefix and let it install on the SSD. But this is not where I recommend. I recommend all game binaries be stored outside of the Proton prefix for numerous reasons. I mean, this is 10 gigabytes. You wanna take up 10 gigabytes of your internal storage for that when you have a nice big fat SD card you could use. But for now, we're going to do this because I don't wanna confuse anybody and I don't wanna say, go watch this other video because you guys get all pissed off when I send you to some other video. So we're gonna install in the Proton prefix for now and suck up that internal space. We'll default to the top item there and we'll default there. We don't need a desktop icon. And you probably want to change that username. Yeah, okay, perfect. And we go. All right, now this is gonna take a few minutes. I'm not gonna make you sit through the whole thing. But again, um, with other games, if you happen to be using this particular group, um, you may find that somewhere along the way here, this just stops during the install and you have no idea why. The truth is, is it basically runs out of memory and it grinds to a halt. This particular game obviously does not have that problem because this installer works fine. If I had an installer that did not work properly on the Steam Deck, what I would do is I would go install it on my PC, grab that set of installed files and move it over and pick up from there. But in this case, we don't have to, and it does all the heavy lifting for us. We also don't have to do any redistributables. 
such as DirectX, uh, C++, or anything like that for this one. So that's another reason why I like this release. Let's go ahead and skip through this. This is taking too long. All right, it finishes up and we're done. That's it. So the install part's done anyway. <laughs> All right, so we're done here. So we can go ahead and hit finish. Now, if we were to run this again, what would it do? It would run the setup again. We don't want that. What we really want to do is run the game. So what we're going to do is go into Dolphin, hit the split button so that we can see both sides. On the right side, we're going to go to Compat Data. Now, if you don't have Compat Data listed under your places, I beg you with peace and love, peace and love, go watch my Dolphin Tricks and Tips video. It will help you make this file manager suck a whole lot less. So we'll go into Compat Data. We're going to sort by Modified. And at the top, you should see a very recent entry. It might even say just now or a minute ago or two minutes ago. This number is not going to match yours. It'll look different. That's normal. Drill in, go into that drive C and uh, whoop, drive C. Hey, look at that. It looks like Windows now. And remember, we installed it into C games. Look at there. There's C games. Remember C games, blah, blah, blah. Let's go in there. Look, there it is. Now all we have to do is find that EXE. There it is. We're going to right click that and select copy link. We want the full path to that EXE because we're going to go and change our Steam launcher to match this. So we're going to right click, copy location, right click, copy location. Perfect. Back to our setup.exe, head on over to that gear because we're going to change this guy up. Now, because this is no longer setup.exe, it's really going to be the game. Let's change it to the game name. It's not setup.exe anymore. It's going to be the game exe transformers of course i can't type we all know that though and paste that link right into target now watch closely double quote at the front double quote at the end once again double quote at the end double quote in the front otherwise this doesn't work and you think that my stuff sucks and you leave me bad comments now copy the whole thing and we're going to grab that whole thing and paste it into start in because this is the folder it needs to start in which means we have to trim that exe name right off the end of that. So just do, 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 do. We just want the folder. But remember, we need those double quotes at the front and the back because there's spaces in here and that will break the whole thing if there's not double quotes. I think that's it. I think we're good to go now. Let's close this guy up and give it a run. I think we're ready. Now, the good news is I know that we're ready because I've already done this like 15 times. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so... If this were to fail, it probably needs a redistribute. It needs DirectX, it needs PhysicX, or it needs one of these other mind numbing things. But in this case, it doesn't need any of that. It just works. Now, don't be fooled by these title screens. Sometimes these games will run the title screen just fine, but as soon as you get to the game, it takes a dump. So at least get into the game and move a character around. That's gonna be your best bet to know, hey, I've done everything I need to do because a lot of times these title screens will just play, get into the game and it just crashes. If you really want to see that in action, look at my GOG uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Lego edition. Look at that video. You'll see more about that. Okay, let's just jump into story mode here and Warrior, Warrior needs food badly. All right, again, make sure you're in the game and you're moving your character around. So far, this is probably pretty good. There we go. We're in the game, we're moving our character around. We are in good shape. So now I'm gonna hit like Alt F4 to get out of there. I mean, you could use the taskbar or whatever, but I've got a keyboard right here and Alt F4 works very, very well. And that's it. I mean, you got the game. Now you do wanna go back and clean up after yourself. So go to that um, uh, entry, right click and unmount it, go to downloads, delete the ISO. You don't need any of that anymore. Boom, you're done. The entire game is installed inside that Proton prefix inside of your SSD drive. So we're clean, we're good to go. Now, of course, uh, you could dress up that entry in Steam if you like, right? Because there's missing graphics, there's nothing interesting in here. You could use uh, Decky's uh, Steam Grid DB plugin. You could do these yourself. I have a video that shows you how to set all the graphics and artwork if you like, but that's gonna do it. Hey, listen, if you like what we're doing, like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Shane R. Monroe, and until next time, uh, take it easy.